Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, Blade 100, version 9, versus Head Speed MP, Auxetic 2. Stay tuned. Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go! We got the Axiom line here, the 9-pack Duffel, my favorite bag, the 9-pack Axiom 2.0, they even make a 12-pack if you're going on tour, and my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. All right, guys, so we've tried the Blade version 9 in the 100 already. Mixed feelings about it. Uh, we decided that it would be great if we could get a coach that used the Blade 100 in previous versions and usually likes it and compare it to the Speed MP with Auxetic 2. Uh, this coach is not a head person, so he don't like head, usually. He do like blades, uh, 100, 98, you name it. So we're going to take them out together and see, you know, because this racket was made to compete with this racket, and this racket has now become like a top two racket, if not the number one selling racket for head. So let's see what coach says. See you on the court. All right, so we just got off the court comparing the Blade 100 version 9 with the Speed MP Auxetic 2. Now, I didn't love that one the first time I played with it, but I wanted a second opinion and I wanted to compare it to what would be on the market that would be its direct rival. So Coach Pablo used to use this in the version 8. Yep. I'm going to let him tell you what he thought of both of these. All right. So basically, it's very, very similar rackets from a, you know, a head size perspective and a weight perspective. Um, what you feel with, with this racket is a little more speed, honestly. Um, it's a little whippier. This one is a little slower. Uh, but this one, on the forehand side especially, plows through the ball more, whereas this one spins a little bit more. And um, I think a little bit has to do with the string pattern, um, the placing, and you can see that the shape. This is a little more round. This is a little more oval. So this is going to go through a little bit more than this is going to spin a little bit more. Um, overall, both good rackets. It'd be hard for me to choose one over the other one because they're both offering some nice features, good spin, good power, good stability. Um, they're both good rackets, I have to say. I recommend them both. Was there a feel difference between the two? Yeah, so uh, I would say the ball stays on your racket longer with this, with this racket, mm -hmm. um, and then it comes off a little faster with this one. But both of them are control-oriented rackets and feel-oriented rackets, 
So good feel for both. I would say if you want to plow through the ball and hit a little flatter, you want this one. Mm -hmm. If you want to have a little bit more spin, potentially a little bit more pop, uh, a little more height, you'd want this one. Got it. Now, feedback, which one gave you more feedback? I would say this one actually okay. gave me a little bit more feedback. This one was a little de more dead, Got uh, it. a little less feedback. That's exactly what I felt too. Yep. Like this was more muted. Yep. This is a little more soundy. Yep. So pingy, pingy. which I like. Yep. Um, coach, the only difference between the two other than the brand, um, and I don't know what else in the guts, but specs are almost exactly the same, except this is just a hair thicker. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. I think it, I think it just has to do with the, the thickness of the beam. Just the hair. Yeah, because this is a little thicker and it feels that way mm -hmm. as you're plowing through the ball. Like you have more mass right. with this racket right. than you do with this one. Right. Yep, but so, that's, that's it. So which one's the winner for you? You know, I've been with Wilson forever. Um, so I'm more used to the Wilson. So I think I would choose the Wilson, but I would recommend this racket. And I think it's a very stable choice for for anybody in this family. Right. I can see why this is the number one, number two racket, well, selling wise, for head. Uh, easy to use, very stable. If you're looking for something on the control side with a 100 square inch, this is an easy, like a very easy choice. It actually um, kind of fits everybody. Like whether you're a three O all yep. the way up to a five O, yep. um, even higher, this will work for you if this weight works for you. Yep. Easy spin, easy power, nice feedback, nice feel. I would actually choose this one, and I'm a Wilson guy. <laughs> so, and I think Pablo's like on the cusp of like, you know, it's like flip a coin at this point too. Yeah, I mean, I think from from my end, I like more spin. Right. So, and that's why I like I like a little bit more of that rounded. Yeah, when it's thinner, it also yeah, cuts and, up and too. Yeah, it, it goes a little bit more. So, yep. so from my end, I think that's that's why I would I would choose it. Right. But uh, very impressed, yep. very impressed. Good model. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. Well, Coach Pablo, thank you for doing this comparison with me. Uh, awesome. Yeah, where can they find you? Get on uh, Mighty Tennis on Instagram to check me out and be mighty. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.